Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Um, okay, so my name is Kautuk Shivastav, and um, uh, before I, I, I go ahead with this, uh, let me just quickly tell you a little bit about me. Okay. Uh, so firstly, uh, how many, just one quick question, okay? How many hot guys in the audience make some noise? I have seen you, like you are, okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Okay, uh, how many cool guys in the audience make some noise? Woo! Why is this side hot and this side cool? What the <laughs> okay, great, works for me. Uh, point is, point is that I am none of those things, okay? I am not hot, I am not cool, okay? I am a room temperature guy. <laughs> okay, like right down the middle, that's where I am. This is, this is me, this aisle, okay? <laughs> you know, I've never been called hot or cool in my life. Never. Never been called hot or cool. The only adjective I get called is this one adjective, uh, cute. <laughs> oh my God, you're so cute. <laughs> oh my God, you're like an angle, a uh, cute. <laughs> Here's the thing, okay? I am, I am the boy who lives next door to the boy next door. <laughs> that is who I am, okay? <laughs> Basically, okay, if you guys saw me with a hot girl, you would all think I'm rich. <laughs> think about that. You'd be like, what is wrong with her? Why is she with him? He must be rich. I mean, if she's into losers, what's wrong with me? Right, guys? <laughs> I'm hot. No. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, I'm a room temperature guy, okay? And it's really, really hard for me because, you know, like, I don't know how to flirt with women. I really don't know how to flirt with women. Like nothing, zero, okay? But someone said, so cute. <laughs> Thanks for being the rest of my life. Uh, I don't know how to flirt with women, okay? Like, um, you know, this one time I was on a plane, okay? And this beautiful girl, absolutely beautiful girl, comes and sits next to me, okay? She is so beautiful that you would not notice her eyes or personality. <laughs> Very beautiful, okay? She comes and sits next to me. now. This is every guy's dream situation, okay? Because the girl can't go anywhere. The seatbelt sign is still on. <laughs> so I'm, I'm in this plane, okay? Beautiful girl sitting next to me and I can't think of a single thing to say to her. Nothing. Okay, half the flight goes by. Finally, she reaches into the pocket ahead of her and she pulls out something to read. Okay, now I like reading. She's reading something. This was my in. Okay, so I turned to her them confidently. I'm like, hi, uh, what are you reading? <laughs> and she says, the safety instructions. <laughs> and I said, nice, who's it by? <laughs> who's it by? At this point, my brain was going, why would you say that? That is not a book. I'm like, I know. And she says, it's by Air India, I guess. <laughs> and I said, is it good? Is it good? At this point, my brain was going, I repeat, that is not a book. Just stop this right now. That is not a book. I'm like, I know. And she says, what did you say? Nothing. <laughs> now my brain's like, cool. Now don't say a word. I'm like, all right, fine. So you are also going to Bombay? <laughs> ah! <sighs> At this point my brain was like, just give up. <laughs> Let's end this now, don't procreate. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's, that's what it was like. And what you just heard was basically a story, right? And uh, so basically today's uh, talk that I'm gonna give you today is, um, today's talk that I'm gonna give you today, because I have not said today enough times. Uh, <laughs> the talk that I'm going to give you today is about storytelling, okay? The importance of storytelling, okay? Um, now, here's the thing, okay? Story for me is, is something that we do every day, okay? 
the very fact that snapchat has snap stories and instagram has insta stories and whatsapp has whatsapp stories uh, <laughs> but the very fact that these apps have these stories means that we're telling them every day okay and it's very simple stories are basically communication made interesting okay that's literally it every time you're communicating and you're making it interesting you're telling a story that's all there is to it okay and i'm going to take you through what i think are the parts that are impo like what i feel are important uh, you know what is the importance of storytelling okay like what makes storytelling so compelling and so important to us and i'm going to tell it to you from like from a very personal in my own idiotic way okay now i'm a professional idiot that's what i do as a comedian i'm a professional idiot like what, like the people you've heard today are professionals i am <laughs> that's <laughs> i'm cute <laughs> that's 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 all i have like that's that's all i have going for me so i'm going to tell it to you from like my personal experiences whatever idiot clown experiences i have um now i just like to tell you uh, one thing before i begin which is that i am a comedian and a fiction writer okay uh, and it's pretty cool being a fiction writer because as a child i used to get hit for telling lies now i get paid for it <laughs> i have some five things that i, I want to talk to you about about the importance of storytelling okay the first thing that i want to talk to you about is entertainment okay the one thing that makes stories the most interesting and the most like fascinating thing is the fact that they're entertaining right um entertainment is the top soil of storytelling okay it's the very top thing okay it, it, your at this point your story doesn't have perspective meaning insight etc but that doesn't mean that entertaining stories are less valuable okay that does not mean that like i'll i'll, I'll tell you what like i am standing here in front of you because i read one story by pg woodhouse Okay PG Woodhouse is my favorite is author ever and I read this one story when I was in the 10th standard okay I was in the middle of my exams uh, sorry just before it in fact I was in February okay a month to my exams and uh, my parents had uh, they thought that they won the battle when they took out the TV and the computer <laughs> and they left this PG Woodhouse book okay and I opened the book and I started reading this and I read straight through the night and it changed my life i was like oh my god this is so amazing if i can spend the rest of my life doing even a little bit of what pg woodhouse like managed to do my life would be amazing okay and that's why i started i started uh, writing stuff and i started uh, becoming a humor writer and that's why i'm here today um and it just shows you that even the smallest things um can make such a vast difference right so entertainment does not mean that it's any less valuable the second thing that i want to talk to you about is um stories are important because they form a record of our of our time on earth okay that's the really like one cool thing about stories that they form a record of our time on earth okay um like writing for me is probably the closest we've come to time travel okay that's the thing that i find very fascinating writing is almost time travel okay because it goes through space and time okay like it, i find it endlessly fascinating that jack kerouac writing in 1957 in america can influence a person in 2017 in india and inspire him to travel that is time travel that is amazing okay and this is like doubly amazing to me because here's the thing okay we may not know the meaning of life but we do know one thing we know the responsibility of life and the responsibility of life is very simple is to leave the world a better place than you found it okay and stories because they form a record of your time here they're very fascinating because you can record your wisdom and experience and hope that someone from a next generation can see this and hopefully learn from it you know the very fact that pg woodhouse influenced me to become a writer means you know that a record of your time and space can influence other people okay so that's that's a that's a very important thing that stories do the next thing about stories is that they are transformative empowering and inspiring okay now uh, i began this talk by telling you that i'm a room temperature guy right um now to get to this realization took a long time okay because when i was a teenager okay when i was when i was in college um and in fact when i was in school like my the height of my ambition was that one day somebody would call me hot or cool that was literally it like once i want someone to go like hey you are so hot and i'd be like thank you i waited my whole life for you uh you know just one time i want i wanted that to happen and it and and it took me so long to realize that maybe there's a third way maybe i have to tell the story of of my life and not something i want to be okay and the minute i went on stage okay and i said that hey guys i'm not a hot guy i'm not a cool guy i'm a room temperature guy the minute i said that and i saw a room full of people laughing that's the minute i went like you know what this is the best i could not have been anybody else and this works for me 
Um, now that's that's transformative. That's empowering. Like you tell your story, and trust me, people will love you for it if you're telling the truth. Okay, because that's what people value more than anything else: the truth. And chances are, the people are going through it themselves. Like everybody here who said they were hot and cool. <laughs> The fourth thing, the fourth thing I want to tell you is, um, in fact, I don't want to tell you what it is. I want to take you through it, OK? Um, a few years back, I was in a place called McLeod Gunch. And um, someone told me that you must go on the Triun Trail, OK? Now, Triun, for those of you who don't know, it's a beautiful trail, OK? You must go. If you haven't gone, you must go, OK? It's a, it's a, it's a long, serene walk, OK? You go right like through a mountain, like across a mountain, OK? And on the journey, it's fully lush, okay? It's green all around you, okay? You can see panoramic views of the valleys, okay? The valleys are deep, and, and at one point, you're so high, uh, like, altitude-wise. <laughs> altitude-wise. <laughs> altitude-wise. <laughs> you're so high up, that when you look down, you can see birds flying below you. You can see the backs of their heads. That is amazing, okay? And I think here's another aspect of storytelling that I just told you all of this stuff. And you could in some way imagine it. You could in some way be there. You could in some way see the back of a crow's head. So the, the point is that through a story, I can actually take you to some place that you've never been. Make you experience something that you've not experienced. And that's, that's again a very fascinating, important part of storytelling. Okay, and here's the thing, guys. I just told you all of this for free. I paid 20,000 to go to Triun. <laughs> free. Just finding it very unfair. <laughs> but here's the other thing, okay, about that trip. I forgot to tell you one thing. Stories are also fascinating because you are telling it to somebody. And in telling it to somebody, you're doing two things. You're transforming that experience. You're transforming it. Like I told you about how beautiful the journey was, right? I told you about how amazing it looked and the view was spectacular and the bird's head and everything. But what I did leave out was this, okay? On the trek, it was painful. It was painful. It's 18 kilometers one way, five and a half hours. Okay, at some point my knees started giving way. My muscles were cramping. It was it was excruciating. Okay, and I, I thought I'd taken a wrong turn. Okay, because I saw nobody on the trail. I thought, oh my God, I'm lost. If I die here, nobody will find me for days. I have no cell phone reception. This is it. And it was terrifying. It was terrifying. But I didn't tell you that. And then. This other thing happened. I was on this trail, I was worried I was lost, and then I looked behind, and far away in the distance, far, far away in the distance, I see one speck, okay? It's one other person walking up that trail, okay? I was about to give up, I was about to turn back and go home, okay? But I saw that one person, I was like, oh my God, thank God, I am not the only crazy person here. And I finished that trek, okay? That lone stranger coming up behind you is what a great story looks like, okay? Because the minute you're about to turn behind, you can see a story coming up behind you that you can relate with and you go like, I'll do this. I can get through this. You know, because great stories have this amazing ability to relate with you. And when they relate with you, it's, it's, the experience is very soothing because what it tells you is this. Like, I am with you because I'm just like you. And the other cool thing about this is that you don't need to be in the same place. You don't need to be in the same country. You don't need to be in the same time to have this experience. You know, you can read writers of any era and you will realize that, yes, they're talking about the same things because we don't change. So that's the other amazing thing about stories. The last part about storytelling is meaning. Now, what I mean by this is, what I mean by this, here's the thing, okay, life is a series of arbitrary events that fall one after the other, okay? They don't necessarily have meaning, but it's your interpretation that gives it any sort of meaning at all, right? If you just look back at the last five days of your life, did it have any meaning? We invest meaning into time. We invest meaning into days. We invest meaning into all your experiences that you have. We are the sum total of our stories. Okay, the stories we believe in and the stories we tell. So believe in good stories and tell better ones. That's it. Thank you.